Uh, it's what I, like I just told the team. I think that's what it was. It was, it was a start, uh, kind of see where we are. I thought, the, you know, obviously uh, offensively there's some carryover. Defensively, I was fairly pleased with uh, their level of learning. We, you know, the, the things that they were able to bring from the from the meeting rooms into the onto the practice field, and you know, but we got a long way to go, obviously. And it, but uh, um, I thought we we got a lot accomplished today. Anyone, any, I know it's the first day, Bo, but anybody really stand out or not? Or uh, it's hard to say until you watch the film. But I, like I said, I thought overall, I thought like across the board, I, I like the effort, I like the tempo. Um, you know, the 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 you know the the communication was pretty good out on the field uh, on both sides of the football. Um, we got a lot accomplished in, 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 a, in a day one. You know, you, you know, the first time together, you're not sure how they're going to respond to. to to what we're asking them to do and that type of thing, but uh, I thought they responded well, and you know, I, I was pleased with with uh, what I saw out there today. I mean, just looking at it, the practice is pretty similar to what we saw from Wolf tempo-wise. I mean, did you? Uh, what do you change, and what's different? Well, I mean, defensively, there's a there's a it's drastically different than what they've done in the past, uh, you know, philosophically. But uh, um, you know. It, it, what it comes down to is, a, is a, you know, to be a good football team, you got to have really good attention to detail uh, in in all areas. You know, as far as not as much what you're doing, but how you're doing it, and the level of detail, the level of fundamentals, the level of technique that you're bringing to the field every day. And uh, and I thought that, uh, you know, you know, I, a practice is a practice. You go. For the most part, if you walk in and just structurally, and you look at go across practices across the country, tempos are maybe a little bit different here and there. But um, Wolf has been around good football. I mean, he, the, those guys, I'm sure they practiced hard and were organized and did all those types of things. And uh, um, you know, so that that was good that they have a foundation to, to build on. Was your plan to, to come inside, Bo, or did you want to go outside? Well, I wanted to go outside, but, you know, especially being in shorts today, I, I very much prefer to be outside as much as possible. Um, but the wind was blowing so hard, knowing we were going to be in shorts, you know, you, it's not as a physical a practice. It's a little bit more throwing, so um, we chose to go in today just because of the, not as much a temperature, but because the wind was blowing so hard up there that uh, we wanted, I wanted to get a good first look at a lot of these guys and be able to throw the football and, not let the elements really take us out of what we wanted to do. Oh, I was good. I think it's a good addition to our staff. Can you talk about it? I mean, how many practices? I know even through the season you want to build and get better every week, but how long does it take you personally to kind of find out what you have on the players after these practices? Oh, I think it's going to take a week or two to kind of figure out where we are. Uh, um, you know, like today, there, there's a lot of guys. There were some guys' heads were spinning as far as some of the new things that were thrown at them. There's a lot of, they're hearing a lot of different terminology, a lot of, a lot of things that are different. And so, well, like I said, I thought they, especially the the older guys that have been around a little bit, responded really well to that. But um, to get a really true evaluation of it is to let guys. They need to make mistakes. They they're going to make mistakes, but they need to to learn from those mistakes and progress. And um, athletically, I think we have, um, I thought we looked pretty good. We move around pretty good. Um, but that doesn't do you a lot of good if you're not playing smart, you're not disciplined, and you don't have your eyes in the right places and your hand placement right and all the little things that are going to allow you to have success. What's that time frame maybe on letting these guys uh, make mistakes, kind of find you, become you kind of maybe put a little wrath into the practice and get after them a little bit? Well, I mean, when we put the pads on, we'll get after a little bit, a little bit more. But, uh, you know, th there's, a, there's a teaching element. There's a time, too. And, uh, you know, I'm not a, you know, contrary to maybe popular opinion, I'm not a screamer and yeller out on the practice field. I believe we got to teach. Um, and like I told, like I told the team, the time that we're going to get after you is if you're not, if I see a lack of effort. I didn't see a lot of lack of effort out there today. Um, and I think guys are, uh, they approached it the right way. They had a good attitude, and um, it's our job as coaches, as a coaching staff, to get them taught. What's one of the major questions you want to answer between now and the spring game about the team? You know, there's a ton of them. In my mind, I have a lot of questions as to. You know, personnel really across the board. Who's going to step up? Who, uh, um, 
really, you know, I, I, like I told the team, you know, in offensively, defensively, special teams wise, and all the drill work we're going to do, it's really going to set the, the table and set the depth chart in these 15 practices as to who lines up first come the fall. And then the competition will start all over, all over again. But it's about competing. And you walk out here on the practice field, I want to see guys compete every single day they walk out here. And uh, not only with the guy across from them, but compete with themselves to get better each and every day. And that's what we're looking to do. And it, it, to me, it's pretty black and white. You know, you're either competing or you're not. You're either making progress or you're not. You're doing the things that you're being asked to do by us coaches, how we're asking you to do it, or you're not. And if you're not, you're going to be staying on the sideline watching. That's, that's, that's the way it goes. How was it for you, Bo, to be back out on the field? I mean, it's been a whirlwind for you since December and everything. How was it just to be back out coaching? Oh, good. I mean, I love what I do. I love, I love the coaching. I love being back here. It's, uh, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a great challenge. You know, you take over, you know, it's new. Uh, new place, new players, uh, new challenge. And, uh, you know, I look, I'm look. i looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I, I enjoyed myself out there today. You talked and saying that you hadn't seen, spent a lot of time watching film the last year. Did you spend the last few weeks watching film the last year? Not year? much. Not much. I was, uh, you know, actually I probably watched a little more offense, offensive tape than I have defensive just because offensively, you know, we're going to be running the same stuff. Defensively, you know, I want to make my own judgments. You know, I, I want to I want to be able to coach, uh, coach these guys, you know, have hands on with them and then evaluate them accordingly. And, uh, you know, it's hard to, to me, sometimes it's hard to evaluate guys when you're not exactly sure what they were being asked to do, how they were being asked to do it. And, um, you know, and, for, and to be fair to these players, this is a little bit of a new lease on life for them, especially the guys on the defensive side or the guys that are going to be on special teams. You know, it gives them a chance to, you know, a guy that wasn't playing or a guy who hasn't had the type of career up till now to, to go put their best foot forward and have a chance to, to make their mark. Coach, you talked about defensive changes schematically. What, what are some of those changes? Well, I mean, just philosophically. I mean, I don't want to get into all that, like, like all of a sudden, like one's better than the other. I mean, there's just different philosophies out there and different styles of defense. And, um, you know, from what I know and from what I've watched, uh, ours is a little bit different than, than what they've done in the past and probably coached a little bit differently. And, um, and you know, you, you know, so, you know, that's just, that's what we've, what I've done, done and what I've been a part of. So that's what we're going to stick with. Steve's was saying maybe a little bit more help for corners just to give them, maybe that's a difference between the Yeah, we, we have a little bit more, for probably a little more variety in of our looks and our coverages and, and how we go about things. We're a little bit unorthodox to, uh, in how we go about things. So there's, there's going to be some learning, a learning curve for our guys. Um, but we're going to be, you know, we're pretty aggressive in how we play coverage and get up in people's faces. And, uh, um, and we're, like you say, we're going to give some help to those. We're going to play some too high. We're going to have our some help to those corners, and and uh, you know, and then you know, earn the right to rush the passer. You know, but uh, um, I, I like I, I I like what I've seen. I tell you, I think there's some talent in the defensive backfield. Um, I really do, and I think there's some talent on this football team. But we, you know, first and foremost, identify who the maybe the best 22 are. And then obviously build depth. And every guy out here that's, you know, what I, my goal for this spring is every guy that's out here makes significant progress over these 15 practices. I'm not worried about what I'm going to see on this film on, uh, you know, when I watch that film in the morning. What I'm going to be interested in is seeing the progress every single time we get out here and see guys get better. We, we have to get better as a football team because this is going to lay the foundation for the fall. Coaching staff, it doesn't look like you have one special teams guy or two guys. Is it going to be kind of a coach by committee? Yeah, it's kind of coach by committee. Coach McNutt will kind of lead the charge as far as, uh, um, but, you know, there's going to be a number of guys. Kind of each coach, you know, a different coach has, uh, is responsible for different special teams. And, and uh, you know, and as far as how we approach it in the spring, we don't get into a lot of scheme work in the spring. Uh, we started doing this a year or so ago that we we're going to do a lot of drill work. A lot of fundamental work, a lot of technique work, and really give ourselves a chance to identify who should play where. And then when we come out of the spring, we'll go have, we'll evaluate about halfway through the spring and again at the end of spring, and then we'll set our depth chart accordingly. And then when we get back together in the fall, we'll kind of repeat that process, and then we'll get in the scheme about 10 days in the fall camp. Coach, this question is a little off topic, but just a lot of heavy. 
yeah, 20 great players. player. Right, he retires. You know, is there an, is there an answer? Is there a way to, to 